video on using the spreadsheet in GeoGebra. And if you just go to GeoGebra, click on uh, spreadsheet under the classic apps. And when you do, uh, you'll get a spreadsheet and I've already filled in some values. So I'm going to imagine that I have um, four classes and I just gave a test. And these are the four classes. So what I can do is if I want to find out something about class A, I can just do this, click on here, and it gives one variable analysis. Oops, because it was just there, and then I messed it all up. So here's my A highlighted, and you can see it gives me um, a histogram. Now, if I want to change my histogram, I can use my slider, and you can see it changed uh, the intervals. Um, if I want to take a look at B, I do the same thing, and once again, it's done. Now, the nice thing about this is, if I don't want a histogram, I could use a bar chart, and then look at class B um, using a bar chart. I could use a box plot. I could use a dot plot, stem and leaf, and normal quantile. So those are those are obviously all very useful. One of the things. I really like about GeoGebra is if I highlight all four of them and then I go to one variable analysis and I go to bar chart, not bar chart. You know what my problem was? I don't want to be in one variable analysis. I want to be in multiple variable analysis. So if I go to here, I highlight all four of them, and then I pick this. It gives me all four box plots at the same time. And I can take a quick look and say, ooh, look at this. Uh, it looks like class A, my first class, although they didn't have the highest score, it looks like they probably did the best, um, depending on what you mean by that. You can see class B was pretty uh, pretty consistent in their grouping. Um, not great though. C had a pretty large spread, but a lot of them did, well, I shouldn't say a lot. I mean, half of them did less than an 84, it looks like. And then D was down there. But that's, I always find that very useful. If I click on the summation of the X, you can see it gives me the mean, the standard deviations, uh, sample standard deviation, minimum quartile one, median quartile three, and uh, the maximum value. So that's all very useful. Um, if you want to find something about a particular group of data, you do do this and say you want to find out the sum. Click on that. Let's try that again. Click on sum and it adds up for you. Um, that's kind of it for, um, what I want to show and, uh, yeah, super useful, uh, especially when you're looking at multiple classes at once. All right. Hope, uh, hope you found this useful. Enjoy.